The key idea underpinning MIDI use is its communication system. The communication system allows musical and sound instructions to be represented and transmitted amongst MIDI hardware and software. Although the system is over 30 years old, it still admirably serves the principal idea of allowing musicians, composers and songwriters to integrate electronic musical equipment together. The MIDI communication system is like a language, consisting of sentences made up of words. In the case of MIDI, the sentences are called messages, and messages are made up of words called bytes. A message is made up of at least one or more bytes, but commonly you will find messages made up of three bytes. Two types of bytes exist, a status byte telling us what the message is going to do, and a data byte, usually telling us how or how much of something to do. Each data byte has a resolution of 7 bits, or in other words it can represent 128 values by itself. A common message is the note on message, which is used to play a musical pitch on an electronic sound module. This message consists of a status byte, which tells an instrument to play a note, and two data bytes indicating which note to play, say middle C, and which velocity or loudness to play, soft, medium, loud, or somewhere in between. In the case where the electronic instrument being played doesn't have a natural decay, such as an organ or a bowed string instrument, it's important that a note off message is sent to the instrument to ensure it stops playing. If we didn't do this, we might end up with a note that plays forever, otherwise known as a stuck note. There are two overarching types of messages. Channel messages, which deal with playing back musical events and how an electronic sound module should respond to those events. And system messages, which determine how a system will operate in real time, perform various playback functions, or respond to specific manufacturer commands. The note on and note off message are channel messages. Another common channel message is the control change message, sometimes called continuous controller message. This message is commonly used to send commands from a hardware MIDI controller to an effect plugin, virtual instrument, or channel mixer in a digital audio workstation. Typically, these commands are used to change characteristics and attributes such as pitch, modulation rate, filter frequency, panning position or volume. The MIDI communication system and language which underpins it is an important part of working with modern day musical technologies. A solid grasp of the fundamentals of the communication system will greatly assist technical understanding of the digital audio workstation and how to achieve your creative objectives. In our next video, Luke will be discussing how these MIDI messages are transmitted to and from different devices.